Hey travelers, we're back. Another week of the vlog and uh no Troy, but Jake. Hey guys. Yeah. So uh we've got we've got a few things to talk about. Of course we got beer to sample this week, because why wouldn't we have beer on the on the beer vlog? Um That's why I'm here. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> So we've got some exciting things going on. Uh, one in particular, we're teaming up with Hop Passport this year. Uh, this is last year, so this is an old one, but um, or 2018. So it's still good uh, for this year. But we we're, we're going to focus on 2019. Um, and I thought, what what better time? It's almost Christmas. You know, right. we're only four weeks away. So uh, stocking stuffers, stocking right? Stocking stuffers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so what what is this good for? You're thinking. Uh, I don't need a little book uh, for beer or anything like that. Um, two for ones. Who doesn't like two for ones, right? I do. Yeah, yeah, I love them. Yeah, especially Actually. if you're if you're traveling around going to breweries. Who Absolutely. wouldn't like a two for one? So what this little guy will get you is uh, is two for ones basically. Um, so they're they're good in a lot of different states. Uh, for those of us in the Midwest, Minnesota, and now Wisconsin in 2019, um, they're good for them. So. You just go to the brewery, you open it up to the page that uh, that they're on, and they'll stamp it, and they'll give you a two-for-one. It's yeah. pretty pretty simple. And we were looking, there's, what, I'd say at least 20 to 30 in the Minnesota-Wisconsin yeah, range? Yeah, I, I think there's there's 50 or more. There's Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. And Minnesota, of course, you know, there's... I, I, you know, I didn't even count how many there were in here, but... If you're in the Twin Cities, you'll, you're, be, you'll be busy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the 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 other thing that we're going to give to you for a, a Christmas present is five dollars off. So okay. if you want to buy your hot passport and you use the the promo code Tap Room Travelers, and we'll have it in the description um, to make it a little easier for you. You can just copy and paste uh, in case you don't know how to spell Tap Room Travelers, because believe it or not, some people don't, and that's okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, when you go to checkout. Uh, on hotpassport.com. So uh, if you don't know how to spell that either, just go to Google and um, more than certain it'll find it for you. Uh, go on there, select which passport or passports. Maybe you want to go to different states. Maybe you want two states. Maybe you say, you know, like us, we're, uh, we're real close to a lot of the Wisconsin breweries and then, mm -hmm. of course, Minnesota too. Mm -hmm. Maybe you spend time in both states. So maybe you want two. Maybe you have relatives. Yeah. Colorado, they're doing one in Colorado, Oregon. There's there's all kinds of different states, so who knows? And maybe you're planning a trip somewhere, and you go, well, maybe this would be good for that. So uh, it doesn't take long to get that money back that you spend on it, um, and we're giving you five dollars off. So right, yeah, use, why wouldn't you? Right, use the promo code Tap Room Travelers, and like I said, it'll be in the description, and uh, and of course we'll have more on that in the following weeks and. You'll see stuff on social media about it. Um, and don't be afraid to tell your friends and your family about it too. So who knows, maybe they're looking for a stocking stuffer for uh, that craft beer person in your life, and that would be perfect for it. I wish someone would get me something like that for Christmas. I wish I had that too, and I probably won't be getting it unless you want to get one for me. <laughs> I might get one for okay. you. Okay, yeah. I'll show you where my stocking yeah. is. All right, Staying sounds good. <laughs> we don't have a fireplace. I don't have, I don't have yeah. a fireplace either. All right. yeah. Well, maybe we'll all have to put stockings up here and who knows? Maybe right. we'll all get hot passports. I like it. Uh, anyway, so that's new. And then I was home in South Dakota for Thanksgiving and I decided to pick up some South Dakota beer while I, while I was there. All right. Um, so we have one of those tonight and uh, it's from Crow Peak out in Spearfish, South Dakota. And I don't know how to say this name, but we're going to say Molnir. Molnir. I'm, I'm going to say the J is silent. Yeah. Uh, I looked it up on the internet, and it is another word for Thor's hammer. So, yeah. who knows? Thor's there with his hammer on the can, so. Must be it. Uh, anyway, it is an ale brewed with spruce tips, and when I first uh, bought this, I thought, you know, this is going to be like a piney IPA type. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not. It's actually something more that I would... I would say is is a Christmas type beer, uh, a little bit spicy and not so sprucey, but it, you get a little bit of the spruce on there. I was pleasantly surprised. Let's put it that way. 
Yeah, you get a little bit of the spruce in the aftertaste, but it's it's not too overpowering. Uh, not not that I was what I was expecting for spruce not, tips. Right, not not to be like, drinking a tree. Not like eating a pine tree, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, or drinking a pine tree, as it were. Yeah, this is uh, it's sprucey, but a little bit of spice. Mm-hmm. It's festive. I think it's a yeah. good, good time of year for this. I thought it was a fantastic beer, mm-hmm. and um, and everything I've had from Crow Peak is good anyway. But this, uh, they only, they put this out, I think, once a year, and it's hard to get a hold of. Um, I just happened to stop into a place in Sioux Falls that uh, had a lot of South Dakota craft beer, so. Where is Crow Peak? It is in Spearfish. Spearfish. So, so out, the out in the Black Hills. Yep. Yeah, Black yep. Hills area. Okay. Lots of cool places out there, actually. Yeah, yeah. Besides There's, the scenery. Yeah. <laughs> some good breweries. <laughs> some good breweries. Uh, so some other breweries opening up. Actually, there's there's been uh, two or three that have opened recently, and I think one that's waiting to open up. So next time we go out there, there's going to be all kinds of new places to go to. And, of course, Firehouse. Firehouse, yep. and uh, Sick and Twisted. Sick and Twisted. and Which we also have episodes of. Right. Yeah. How about what a, that? What a transition. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. we got episodes. So if you happen to watch those episodes, you, you definitely should. And who knows? Maybe we'll make it out to Crow Peak and shoot an episode there. they got a neat little place. and. Yeah, I would go back. Yeah. I'm always up for going to the Black Hills. Mm-hmm. I'm biased, though. So would you call that God's country? I would. Does that classify as yep. God's? So my father-in-law thinks that Oliva is God's country. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. It's a I bit of a contrast there. <laughs> I would say the Black Hills compared to Oliva. It's uh, Rolling Hills. A little different. As, yeah. It's a little different. Yeah, to each their own. Yeah. You know, every everybody can have their own God's country. Uh, this next one, uh, is actually closer to home. So lactose Panda from hop and barrel, uh, in Hudson, Wisconsin, of course. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to mix it. I think it'll be all right. Not going to lie to you. So hop and barrel opened what they've been open a year, maybe a little longer than a year. Mm -hmm. Right downtown Hudson, Wisconsin. If you've never been to Hudson, Wisconsin, you should, because it's a neat little, Kind of touristy town, but it's right on the river, right on the water there. Nice little downtown they have there, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Yeah. And uh, the brewery's got a nice little spot there, too, so mm-hmm. you go and check that out. Parking's not the greatest in Hudson, though, just so you know. Uh, so this one is supposed to be a stout with lactose, so like a, like a milk stout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get a little bit of chocolate on there. It's kind of like a chocolate milk. Coconut isn't too strong, but you can taste it. Yeah. Uh, was this supposed to have coconut in it? Maybe not. No. That's why it wasn't too strong. You know what it's supposed to have in it, though? It's supposed to have a sticker on it. And if anybody from Hoppin' Barrel's watching, my can came without a sticker. How dare you? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't have a sticker from Hoppin' Barrel on my fridge yet. But what are you going to do? There's still time. The can was supposed to have it on there, and it didn't. Uh, anyway... Uh, so yeah, for being a new brewery, they're actually putting out some great beers. Um, if you stop in, uh, they have, they tend to have a few more IPAs, which, you know, those of us in the group, some of us like IPAs more and that's not me. Nor is it myself. Yeah. yeah I'm not, uh, <laughs> not in that IPA bandwagon. That would be Steph and yeah. Alex and, uh, Troy on occasion. Yeah. So, uh, not, not to say that you shouldn't stop in still the other beers that they're making are great too. It's just, um, they're a little more geared towards the IP and that's okay. There's a, there's a few of those places around and, and I tend to like them anyway. Um, so yeah, neat, neat little place. And of course Hudson's got, we've talked about Hudson quite a few times on the vlog and, <clears throat> and of course Pitchfork and all those other neat places there. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and I think we're going to. One of these weeks, we're going to do a, a vlog with Pitchwork. Oh, yeah. Talk about their uh, their future endeavors and yep. all the things that they've got going on. Mm-hmm. So uh, always be tuning in to these to, to see if if we uh, end up there one of these weeks. Exciting new future endeavors for them. Yeah, yeah, exciting. Add. Don't want to give too much away, no. of course. You know, we'll let them do that. But Right. You know, when I first tried this, I was expecting more milk chocolate but it's got a little more bite on it than I would have imagined, mm-hmm. which is okay. But in my, you know, when you, you read something, you read a description of a beer, just like the first one that we tried, Right. you, in your mind, you think, ah, oh, I know what this is going to taste like. Right. It doesn't taste anything like that. No. 
Still good though. Yeah. Uh, I like this it. this last one, we uh, we haven't had Prairie Artisan ales around the Eau Claire area for all that long, um, but they're very popular, um, and they sell quite well. As let's see if I can get the damn thing off of there. Where are they out of? You know, I don't even know. Let's see. They get an A for uh, art. Though. 80s art. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I should call myself Don Johnson and put on like a white <laughs> You almost feel the coat. You yeah. almost can hear the theme from Miami Vice right. when you look at the, the label. Right. Uh, I don't know, and the label doesn't really – They're. it says it's distri- or it's packaged by Oklahoma, in Oklahoma, and I'm pretty sure they're not out, out of Oklahoma, although they might be. And you know what? If they are, and you know it, comment below and let us know because mm-hmm. I don't have a computer sitting in front of me. If they are out of Oklahoma, they're throwing us for a loop with this uh <laughs> this The packaging. 80s art? Yeah. I mean, prairie, you know, you would think prairie. Yeah. Yeah, they might be. Could be. Who knows? I don't know. All I do know, it was in my beer fridge, and I wanted to try it. So. Hmm. A little boozy on the nose there. Yeah, it's, it's what an, it's what an, have we had? It is, it is an imperial. Okay. So, so that's, that's, that's that where 12, the booze is coming from. Uh, 13. Yeah, there we go. So a little strong. It is an imperial with coconut and vanilla. I don't smell any coconut or vanilla. No. But Sm- booze. Smell I do booze, smell though. booze. And I taste booze. I don't get a you lot know, of coconut either. A little, <laughs> a little bit of vanilla, not a lot very, of very small, not a lot of, of coconut, yeah. and a lot of booze. I like it though. Yeah, this is kind of this is my kind of beer. I don't know how long that one's been sitting around either. Okay. Um, I think Troy or somebody else brought it over, so couldn't even tell you how long it's been sitting in there. But it's still a little hot. Yep. Those that's one of those beers that we've talked about with aging beers. Um, that's one that could sit around for a while, mm-hmm. and I, th- I think it'd still be okay. Some of those beers, uh, no, not so much. And I think I've gotten rid of all my IPAs out of the fridge, so I don't have to worry. All the all the ones good that man. are in the fridge are, uh, are <laughs> well, good. They would have sat there for a while. I <laughs> they're think, good. They're good fridge. aging beers. The ones yeah. that I think that I have there in are. there. So yeah, that one's great. Um, I did pick up another beer. We're not going to have it tonight. But you can look for it in a future vlog, um, and I don't remember the name of it right now, but it is Imperial Stout aged on Napa Valley wine barrels, mm. and it is from Woodgrain out of Sioux Falls. Okay. One of my favorite little breweries in downtown Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls, if you've never been there, uh, it's got a nice little downtown. I was surprised. I was yeah. pleasantly surprised yeah. with how cool their downtown was and how many neat little uh well breweries and places to drink that i found uh, the the one place that andy and i stopped i'm sure you know what we're talking about yep what that place had uh a pretty extensive tap list of stuff that you know obviously i could never get in wisconsin but even stuff from outside of south dakota and nebraska pretty cool place uh it's house of something house yeah i'll think of it yeah it's uh when you move out of out of a place and you don't go there much anymore, it's you tend to forget. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, uh, but a lot of their breweries. So Woodgrain's downtown too. Woodgrain's not actually that far away from there, but okay. it's it's uh it's in an unassuming building because there's a lot of banks and I don't want to say skyscrapers. There's tower type buildings yeah. downtown Sioux Falls. It's in the bottom of one of those, so it's in a business building, and you wouldn't expect a brewery to be in there, but. It is, and it's uh, it's good. Right off of Phillips Avenue. So if, if you know Sioux Falls at all, if you ever get there. Yeah. But neat little place to go to. I would highly recommend it. And then, of course, um, there's several, uh, several other breweries. There's a few opening. That side of South Dakota right now is really hopping with um, breweries. So... Uh, that side, and then, of course, the Black Hills, and then everything in the middle where I'm from... <laughs> There's nothing, so <laughs> you can you can get uh, all the Coors Light and Budweiser that you ever wanted. Yeah, but you kind of got to you got to plan ahead of time. Like, are we gonna just are we gonna plan to go to Sioux Falls, or are we just gonna go for it and go yeah all the way to the Black Hills? You yep. can't, there's no kind of in between unless you're from there. The yeah. the the one good thing is you could hit a few in Sioux Falls at noon, 
and then drive straight out to the the hills and still get there at night, yeah. and then you gain an hour. So so from Sioux Falls to the Black Hills, we're talking how many hours? That's three hundred and some miles. So a lot of hours, <laughs> all the hours. <laughs> That's, but it's, it's probably it's probably it's f- closer to five. Okay, but I mean, if if you're from there, it's not that bad of a deal. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, so those are our beers. Don't forget about the hot passport. Like I said, we'll have it in the description below. The uh, yeah, and the the twenty nineteens are blue, so it looks more like a regular passport. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we'll have all the information in the description. Like I said, share with a friend, tell your family and friends about it, and uh, we'd love it. And you get five dollars off. You can't beat that. Five dollars off. So uh, we'll have more beers next week. And uh, I'm going to pour a little something to cheers here. I didn't figure you'd turn that one down. Nope. And then, uh, like I said, subscribe, comment, share with a friend, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. And until next week, prost. Cheers. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.